Blender. Okay. All right, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take a video clip and then separate it into individual frames, which the reason why you would want to do that is like if you're doing camera tracking or something like that in Blender, Blender works so much better with individual images instead of a video clip. So I'm going to use Blender to separate the video clip into individual frames. All right. First thing you want to do is come up here to this one, to this button, change it from the 3D viewport to the video sequencer. Once you're here, all you need to do is come up here to add and then choose movie. Now I'm going to add a clip directly off the SD card that just came out of my uh, camera. So I'm going to come up here to volumes, choose Nikon D3200 choose this video clip and as we can see it's got 927 frames I'm gonna go ahead and extract all 927 frames so I just need to adjust the end to 927 and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this up so we can see it a little bit better and shrink it down so it all fits alright now I'm gonna just drag this over and then change this one to uh, an image editor and then all I have to do at this point is set make sure that the image size matches the video the actual video file file which it's full HD and that's full HD and I do want to point out one small thing here see the weird frame rate 23.98 that is not a mistake let me show you why. Now if I come up here and then if I actually look at the properties of this video file, you can see that it's 23.98 frames per second. It automatically adjusts this to match whenever you are using the video sequencer or image sequencer or whatever this is called. Yeah, video sequencer. All right. Whenever you're using that, it automatically adjusts this to match the actual video clip, which is what you want. That way you don't have any frames that get lost in the process. Alright, come here, set a, a location to save to. And in this case, I'm just going to save it to here. And I'm going to make the, out, the output PNG, but I'm not going to have any compression whatsoever because I want the best quality possible so with no further ado all I have to do at this point well I do want to point out one more thing uh, where is it on this one yeah come down here to color management and turn this off of filmic and put it on standard and reason why you want to do that because you want to preserve as much detail as possible all right, now we can come up here, click render, and then render a animation. And then you can see right here, as it's extracting the individual video frames. And if you look at the files as they're coming in, oh, where is it? Right here. There you go. All the files are coming in. And it should only take, yeah, not that long. It would actually go faster if I went through the process to copy the video file off of the SD card because it's having to read from the SD card, which is slowing it down a little bit, but it's not slowing it down all that much. It's got maybe a minute, maybe two minutes left, and it'd be finished. And then once you get that done, you have a whole sequence of video frames to deal with, which is so much better for Blender when it comes to camera tracking. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, interesting. Later, people. Thank you for watching this video. Here are four other videos you might like. If you liked this video, please give it a like, share it, or leave a comment. 
I try to respond to every comment on every video regardless how old the video is. Also, please support your favorite YouTubers by disabling ad blocker. Thanks again. Later.